I received an email asking if the MyLight can be controlled from uh, a generic home automation software such as S Remote on Android. Um, you can do, yes, any application or software that's able to send the hex commands will do. You see here that I've programmed in one button so far, which is off, and if I press that, off goes the bulb. So, if you want to play around with this software on your Android, just go to the Play Store and install S Remote Control. Once you've got it installed, load the application and click the button in the middle. Next, click Advanced, then IP, and put in the IP address of your Wi-Fi controller. Now, yours might be the original 192.168.1.100, but I've changed mine. Click OK, go to Port, and change it to 50,000 click OK and that's all you need to do there so go back and then you want to go to keys and key 1 I've already programmed so you'll see that if I click name it says off and if I click data it's got the code for the off command and then I've selected hexadecimal data so go back and what I'm going to do now is show you programming another key so this one will be to turn it back on and then select hexadecimal data and then data itself you might be thinking that's great but where do I find the codes now the good thing is I've already posted the codes on my blog you see here turn the bulb on 220055 um, so that's the code we're going to be using uh, I got these by sniffing the traffic from the official application so my blog says the code is 210055 so you see I put the code in there, click OK. Oh sorry, I've made a mistake. The command is twenty-two. I misread my, my own site. Okay, twenty two zero zero fifty-five is the command to turn the bulb on. So click OK. And now we're done setting that up, so we'll go back to to the uh, main screen. And you see I've now got two buttons off on. So if I press on, on comes the bulb. Off on. Now these, this is quite basic, obviously I'm just you know, just showing you two keys. You could also program in the other options. Um, it wouldn't be very practical for selecting multiple colours, because obviously you'd have to have a key for each colour, but you could always just put the main ones on there, red, blue, green, yellow, um, and the white mode if you like. Um, you might notice on, on the video that this is flickering, that's not happening in real life, it's just the refresh rate, uh, but it does create an interesting effect. Uh, it's quite quick, you see, oops, very quick, so yeah, have a play, um, and you can do the same with any other home automation software, um, just grab the codes from my site.